Hi guys, Luke from Hitch. Well, we're gonna give you a quick run through here on the OTT and the full interior walkthrough. So what we've got starting in the kitchen, you've got your kitchen on both sides, induction cooked up on this side, then that goes down into your Smeg convection microwave oven. So you're using really good appliances and it's all 240. So you don't have to worry about 12 volt gas, diesel cooktops, anything like that. It's all 240, which means all your fun appliances from home, like your coffee machine, your air fryers, um, anything that you want to bring, you can bring and just plug in. We use an all Corian bench top, so it's all solid surface, just for that high level of quality, which is what we wanted to go to. And then all the cabinetry, similar to the cannings, is all composite materials. So we've got no timber in our construction, even in the cabinetry work. Um, 240 power points everywhere. On this side, we've got our 32 inch smart TV. Can be taken outside as well. Um, 200 litre fridge freezer under here, um, which gives you heaps of storage for those big bulky items. But as you can see, there's storage everywhere. We've been away, we've got all our stuff in there, we still haven't filled it. There's just storage for days, because you've got all storage down here. Everything is normal, is all soft close, and they self latch. So you don't have to worry about driving off and that it hasn't locked. Coming in here into the ensuite, and it's a full separate ensuite. And we did that for a couple of reasons. It gives you so much more space, but also who wants to be cramped? So over here, you got your washer dryer, tucked away in a nice cupboard. Separate toilet and separate shower. That was a big thing for us. Just again, maximizing the space. Sink, shaving cupboard, and then in here, you got your full, full shower. As you can see, there's heaps of windows everywhere. So window in the shower, so you can ventilate it, have a breeze. Then on this side as well, you got your slide out pantry. And this side, you got a full hanging locker um, for all your nice bits and pieces. And you can lock it so no one sees what business you're doing. All air conditioning. So you've got the Truma Adventure air conditioning up here. The Medic vent at the back, which um, is rain sensored. So if it starts raining, you've got it open, it'll close. Under floor, so we've got a hybrid flooring. So just a lot nicer on your feet, a lot more comfier but also we've got underfloor heating underneath. So that's what helped regulates the temperature inside the OTT. Paired with the, um, with the reverse cycle aircon and the underfloor heating, you're never gonna get cold. Um, in some of the testing that we've done, we've only used the heater once because the underfloor heating keeps it nice and toasty in here. And again, having used the composite panels for all the structure, like our campers, they're really well insulated. So cool, hot, whether it's cold, it doesn't matter, it's nice inside. But also from a ventilation point of view, we've got heaps of windows. So everywhere where we can get windows, we've got windows. Fly screen, lockouts, um, just giving you heaps of um, ventilation and natural light into the, into the OTT. Up here, separate filtered water for drinking. And then you've got your normal um, washing up water there. We've got 360 litres of water. Um, so water for days and that's through again an electric hot water system so it's instant so fire it up bang it just works so at the other end and sort of towards the front of the ott we've got the big wraparound lounge dinette so this was really important in our design because it just it gives you so much more space for living inside the ott yes a fixed bed is good but you're only going to use your bed to sleep. The rest of the time, you're going to be sitting in here, having tea, watching TV, all that kind of stuff. So full wraparound lounge, and we designed it so that you can stretch out, watch TV, be comfy, but also you can fit, and we've done this up to six people around this dinette. So if you're camping with others and it's horrible weather outside, they can come in, you can enjoy each other's company inside. The table slides, so it goes up and down. It does go down to convert this to another bed, but we've got our bed above that comes down from the from the ceiling. So when you're using it during the day like we are today, put the bed up, it's out of the way. Got all full wraparound lounge, watch TV, all that kind of, kind of jazz. And then when you want to go to sleep, you put it down and you've got your full queen bed up top. So around here, we've got heaps of storage again. So we've got these massive big lockers that'll go behind the couch. That's on both sides. And you've also got a bit of storage under these seats here as well. Just so you've got a bit more stuff for those bulky items that you're not going to use all the time. Um, all our electrics are housed um, under this seat here right at the front, but it just gives you heaps of storage. There's so much storage inside here, it's, it's ridiculous. So over this side, so I'm on the passenger side, really important. We've got another fridge down here. So this is a 40 litre beer fridge. 
great access for outside that's really important but over here you've got all your controls for the electrical system so this is our turbo x from victron that's our display unit for the whole screen then what we've also got you've got all your light switches so your bed white bed blue for just some ambient lighting that's up top um, but the big thing is all your light switches we've still got spare switches so you can adapt the system if you had different options or anything. when you're ready to go to bed you simply come to the control panel hold the bed lower button and you can see the beds coming down so I'm just going to stop it there pull that ladder just here so you hit the button the ladder comes out then when you want to go back up you hit the bed raise button now this is all programmed so you can't overextend the bed so it won't push against the roof it's going to go into its natural position but you can stop it anywhere you like on the way down except for its minimum settings so what that means is say for example someone's still asleep upstairs you can bring this down and still sit under here watch tv or have people sleeping under here as well um, which just gives you a bit more of that versatility as well for the full run through on the electrics stay tuned for that video it'll be a separate video uh, we will take you through the system because it's a pretty trick 48 volt system and that's what allows us to run the whole camper off electric with no gas or diesel that includes for water heating as well so stay tuned for that um, but yeah that's the interior of the OTT